Hello, everybody. Well, today we're here to talk about holding. Oh. Well, no, not that kind of holding. No, we're here to talk today about holding for the instrument pilot. And this is the Epic Flight Academy's instrument rating course. I'm your host, Mike Thompson, and we are so glad that you're here. Remember, to be successful, there are three key things. Number one, you must be studying EPIC's online instrument course and the associated material. Number two, watch these videos in parallel to that content. And thirdly, and just as important, you must review all of this holding information one-on-one -on -one with your flight instructor. So, what is a holding pattern for the instrument rated pilot. Now, we are gonna find this in the Instrument Flying Handbook, Chapter 10, and in the AIM, Chapter 5, Section 3. A holding pattern is a predetermined maneuver assigned by ATC that keeps an aircraft within a certain airspace to await further instruction. Well, why do we hold? Well, it could be a variety of reasons. Could be an ATC delay. Could be traffic. We could be holding for weather. We might request a holding pattern to deal with some type of emergency or aircraft system issue. Now, if you take a look at our diagram here, you see the big red dot, and my aircraft is inbound to that point, and I'm going to fly a racetrack pattern. Well, let's talk about that a little more specifically. A holding pattern always has these basic parts. Here we're showing a diagram of a holding fix and the inbound course heading from your right to your left. Let's say that we are westbound. So the holding pattern has the fix and the inbound leg. Now you can see it also has the outbound leg. Now the end of the pattern near the fix is called, what do you think? Yeah, let's call it the fix end. Mm. And the end of the holding pattern at the outbound side is, what do you think? Yeah, let's call that the outbound end. Now, an important thing to remember here, we have what we call the holding side and the non-holding side. A hold always starts at a fix. That's any identifiable point. Right turns in this holding pattern are standard. Left turns may be assigned, and if they are, ATC will tell you specifically. The holding pattern has a one minute, that's 60 seconds, inbound leg, or one and a half minutes if you're above 14,000 feet MSL. Or the holding pattern may be defined in nautical miles. And then finally, standard rate turns are always flown in the holding pattern. Now, we're gonna talk about how to enter this holding pattern, and I want you to know that it is possible to fly the aircraft on the non-holding side. This would be in accordance with the FAA order 8260-3, and you want to look for the most current one. Do that with your flight instructor. Uh, at the time of this recording, 8260-3 Delta was the most current, and we're going to take a look at holding patterns in Chapter 2, and you will see that there is protected airspace on the non-holding side. So, what can be a holding fix? Well, the holding fix could be any identifiable point in space. Sometimes a hold is published, and these can be found on the low and root chart, or instrument approach procedures, or arrival and departure procedures. 
However, ATC can also assign a hold at any fix, whether it be a GPS waypoint, a VOR, an NDB, an airway intersection, etc. Now, when we are in these holds, there are maximum speeds to be flown. And you can see on our graphic here, at 6,000 feet and below, my maximum speed is 200 knots indicated. Above 6,000 to 14,000 feet MSL, my maximum speed is 230 knots indicated. And above 14,000 feet, my maximum speed is 265 knots indicated. Now, an aircraft must slow down to this speed a minimum of three minutes prior to entering the hold. And, of course, there are exceptions. If you are in an aircraft that is unable to maintain the required speed, you just notify ATC. Or ATC might actually advise a different holding speed. Or a procedure has a published holding speed. Now, that's the holding pattern. How do I get into it? How do I take my aircraft, fly to that fix, and enter the pattern? Well, the truth is, you can do it any way you like. However, in practical application, pilots have discovered three techniques that really help us get into that hold. Now, all of these holds are designed, all of these entries are designed to keep you on the holding side or near the holding side. Let's look at these in a little more detail. Notice in our three diagrams, on your left, we're showing green arrows where the aircraft is generally flying in the same direction as the inbound leg to that fix, in which case we would use what pilots call a direct entry. Now, notice in the middle diagram and the one on your left, the aircraft is coming to the fix in the opposite direction of the inbound leg. When we do that, we think to ourselves, when I get to that fix, will I cross the fix into the holding pattern or outside of the holding pattern? If you look at the diagram in the center, you can see that we are going to cross the fix into the holding pattern. In that case, we use what we call a teardrop entry. And the diagram furthest to your right, here we are going to cross that fix outside of the holding pattern. Here is where we use what we call a parallel entry. Parallel because my entry leg is parallel and opposite to the inbound leg, also notice that I am just a little bit to the non-holding side as we reference the FAA order. Earlier in this video, there is some protected airspace on the non-holding side specifically for that parallel entry. Now, with our last diagram up here, we are going to take the FAA's recommended technique and we are going to offset this by about 70 degrees. So do you see that? Rather than being perpendicular to my inbound leg there, do you see how we took that and tilted it just to about 70 degrees and Anytime my aircraft held a heading in the blue area or area three of our diagram, we would do a direct heading. Anytime my aircraft held a heading in area two, that's the green area, we would be crossing into the hold, opposite direction of our inbound leg, and make a what kind of an entry? Teardrop, of course. And in area one, do you see the large orange area? 
Again, we are crossing the fix against the direction of the inbound leg, but now we're crossing outside the holding pattern, and that is our parallel entry. Well, folks, that covers the basics of holding patterns. Join us next time.